Okay, kids, this is my video of the El Paso made Weaver K10 60B rifle scope. I want to I want to say something before I get started on this video. I recently had uh, a commenter imply that I was not a firearms expert, and uh, I just want to point out that I am a firearms expert, and I base this on the fact that I am overweight, bald, and have a goatee, which I prefer to call prison pussy. Anyway, so if there was ever any question, we can move on. Now, like I said, this is a Weaver K10. Look at that. El Paso, Texas. K10 60B. Awesome scope. Probably the best scope ever made. It has parallax adjustment. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Look at that. 1,000 yards. That's how you know this is awesome. This is the lock ring. You loosen the lock ring, and then you can turn that to move it back and forth. This piece with the screws slides back and forth. And this is also, that lock nut there lets you focus your eyepiece. Yep, there it is. Weaver K10. 60B. And this is mounted on a Ruger number 322 Hornet. One of the most accurate weapons ever to exist. And look at this. Well, made in the 200th year of American freedom. Awesome. Look at that. If anybody else has a fascination with old Weaver scopes, leave a comment. Now, one thing about this scope that's a little special, I'm going to show you the reticle. You don't see this quite every day. If I can get it to show up. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, kids, I found this file on the internet called Reticles for Weaver Scopes. So I will show you the rangefinding reticle. Hang on, that was there, but where'd it go? Crosshair, dual X. That is the rangefinding reticle. As you can see, it can be used on crows. Look at that. And it can also be used as separate aiming points. I used aiming point one and aiming point three with the 22 Hornet, which provided a 100 and 250 yard zero. Anyway, that's all.